what is going on everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be taking apart this 580 4 gigabyte radian graphics card i have had this card for a very long time and i have not taken it apart to replace the thermal paste so the paste is pretty much old right now and we will be removing the heat sink and replacing the thermal paste what you will need is a screwdriver your thermal paste uh, any sort of brush and rubbing alcohol and paper towel and you will also need a dust blower I'm using this one here as you guys can see so all we have to do right here is just flip the card over onto the back and start removing the four screws that hold down the heat sink on to the chip keep in mind guys that when you're doing this you will be voiding the warranty on your graphics card so keep that in mind Alright, so let's go ahead and start removing these four screws that is holding down the clamp. Alright, so once you have the clamp removed, make sure that you take your time to lift the PCB off the cooler, the heat sink. Once you do that, you will see that you have the fan connector right here. All you have to do is just take your time and wiggle it out. All right, so now that we have the fan disconnected from the PCB, let's go ahead and take a look um, at the chip. And as you all can see, the thermal paste on the chip is very much dried out, completely dried. It is not moist anymore. So this will definitely cause overheating or maybe the card will eventually die. And as you all can see on the heat sink, the thermal paste is completely dried up as well. So what we need to do from right here is just go ahead and start cleaning the dust off the PCB first and then we're going to move on to the chip, start cleaning that and start cleaning the heat sink as well. So get your brush, uh, whatever brush you want to use, you can use like those small paint brush, those work pretty well or you can use like an old soft toothbrush to brush off the, the dust and get it really clean and stuff. So we're just going to clean a little bit. Alright, so once you're done cleaning the PCB, get your rubbing alcohol and your paper towel. Spray a little bit on the paper towel and start cleaning off the thermal paste that's on the chip. Now this will be really hard because the thermal paste is like really dried up on it. So just take your time and try and clean it as, as good as possible. Once you're done doing that, we're going to move on to the heat sink. Okay everyone, so as you all can see, we have the heat sink cleaned up really nicely. Uh, the fan as well has been cleaned out nicely as well. There is a few residue from the old thermal paste, but it's cleaned off pretty well. But um, the PCB now with the chip, that's cleaned up pretty well, very clean and looking really good so now let's apply the thermal paste so i don't remember the name of the thermal paste that i'm using but i will link it in the description all you have to do is just add just a little bit to the chip as you can see in the video right here once you do that make sure that you connect back the fan on the pcb the heat sink fan make sure that you guys connect that back onto the PCB because if you forget this part you will have to take apart back the card just to connect this one fan alright so once you have it connected you want to turn the fan downwards and then line up the pins with the holes on the PCB so there are some four pins on the heat sink so make sure that you line it up with the PCB Alright, so once you guys put back everything in order, put back the clamp on the PCB, make sure that you just examine the graphics card 
uh, make sure that everything is in the right place everything looks good and everything checks out so that's how easy it is guys to replace the thermal paste on your graphics card now this is the rx 580 4 gigabyte card from msi so that's it guys uh subscribe share the video around and stay tuned for more videos to come